Hi everyone, it's Mark here from Cricket Bear Info. Today we will be doing this. This is the top of the line SG Cricket Bat. This is the Triple Crown Limited Edition sent in by Navdeep. And this is his new bat. It's still in the wrapping. Straight after this. Wow, top of the line, eh? So we've done a triple crown before, but this is the top one. This is limited edition and that's engraved there. And you can see, hopefully with this new lighting, just how stunning that willow is through the, the cover. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven grains. Really, really big. This is their T20 profile, so you can see just how much wood they've packed into this thing. Uh, engraved up here as well. Uh, you've got the sticker on it. Manufactured January 2021, so this is the latest sticker for this year. Short handle, length 85 centimeters. And, yep, definitely manufactured by them. And I would hate to Tear the plastic, oh shoot, I'd hate to tear the plastic, oh no, no I'm just kidding, I'm going to be knocking it. Um, so there you go, that is, uh, we get to handle this without the plastic on, which is pretty cool. Um, stunning looking timber, isn't it? See like a stains come through here, you can tell that he's, I can see seam marks in there. Um, so he couldn't help himself, it's been probably tapped up wherever he got it from. I like the fact they've rounded the toes. Um, so, you know, going to be going for those aggressive shots as a T20 profile. What's the point having a sharp toe uh, down there that's just prone to breakage? So that's a good, clever little thing there. A more traditional sort of along the laver lines. Look at those grains. They're absolutely stunning going for the toe. Oh, that's really nice, isn't it? So this is what you would call Pro Willow. These retail, for, I think he said 75,000 Indian rupees. Um, RRP in Australia, $1,400, I think a thousand, it was on online stockist. Um, he hasn't told me where he got it from, but wow. So this is the traditional colour scheme and there are no embossing on these stickers. They're going for their uh, heritage look there, except for obviously laser engraving. Yeah, I do like that. So it's got on the shoulders in and number 11. Let's stick it through the gauge. So here we go. Yeah, look at that. Those edges are just almost flush with the top and it's going under, uh, but it's all about that edge and, and sort of just how much wood you can uh, pack into it. So if you know, because you're swinging hard, you might be not necessarily hitting the middle, but there's going to be plenty of meat behind it. The face camber itself, again, it's probably that three mil camber uh, that seems to be so popular. And the width seems to be pretty good too. I'm trying not to damage it, even though I've got to knock it. Let's put that down and do some measurements. Starting obviously with the edge. And 42.3, which I find interesting, it must be a little bit narrowed uh, towards the back, I'm guessing. 15 on the shoulders, so it's nice and thick. And remembering this is, I'll take it as close to that center there, 25 mil. And in the center, 26.3. Up here at the top of the shoulders, 35.4, that's pretty good. And um, yeah, it's about 60, 65. There you go. Um, let's uh, bring in my little holder thing and um, measure that spine and measure that width. So this side. One hundred six point eight. This side, one hundred six point five. So, yeah, it's only one mil. 
it's just a big bat. Um, 42 mil on those edges, which I thought that wouldn't fit through the gauge, but um, maybe I'm wrong. Let's try once more time for the dummies. About there. No, that's definitely 42.4. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see. Is my gauge stretched or something? No, it hasn't. Yeah, 40. 41 taking an account um, tape. So next thing, what does it actually weigh? Oh, look, it's had some damage on the back there. That's a dent there. Now, what does it actually weigh? I didn't spot that until I took it out of the plastic. So the balance is really nice, actually. It feels, it feels really light in the hands. Um, nice swing. And to me, it's feeling like a, a 2.9, I'm guessing. Um, but it looks like a big boy, so what does it weigh? It's 2.10.6. So obviously, uh, I'm suffering from I can't actually pick up a bat and tell what it feels like anymore. So I'm always better an ounce under. Um, wow. Shall I tap it up? Might as well. So I've completed the knocking in of this bat and I've got some information. Uh, so the first thing is I contacted the owner and said, um, look, I've unwrapped this thing and realized there's this dent on the back. Now, initially I thought, oh, don't tell me this is because it was sent in bubble wrap only, just with a case, not the original SG cover, which I do have photos of. I'll just put them up now. They're actually with the owner, but a different case, but it wasn't actually sent in a box. But the truth of the matter is, as I found out looking back at the, cover, at the uh, initial unwrapping, is this dent, which was quite deep. I've done some steaming and put some glue in and polished it. I mean, you can't, it just looks like, you can't actually see it. It's not actually, like if I run my finger on it, there's no um, dent there anymore. It's all filled in. But um, yeah, that wasn't there and, and that was actually quite a lot of damage. I couldn't steam it out because it was cracked the grains. And uh, yeah, what I realized was with the cellophane that was on it, they put a sticker over that to hide it from the person who purchased it. So that's one thing. The other thing is um, oiling the bat, as I said to you at the beginning, or at least in the last SG uh, review I did um, for the Jason Holder bat, the SG um, polish they use really whitens it up. So more color comes through. And you will see here, if I hold it at the right angle, some marks through here. So they're actually there from the beginning. And there's a little mark here and they've only actually become obvious when we've oiled the bat so you got marks over here too so that, to me that's a an issue as far as the finishing which is not something you really want to see from something that supposedly retails for fourteen hundred dollars if you pay the full tote for it uh, so yeah when i compared the jason holder video i did notice that that had a barcode and a uh, holograph sticker where this one when I took the sticker off it didn't have that so I'm not sure if whoever he purchased it off in India has realized there's a dent and covered it up or it's been done in the factory which is quite disappointing you know when you're buying the top of the range model uh, the last piece of the puzzle is uh, my own doing uh, which I'll admit to here and now is um, when I was putting on the scuff sheet it wasn't aligned properly and i just lifted it a little here and i actually pulled a grain up which you can probably just sort of see there i've had to to sand out the damage but yeah i did that um you know, and it's really disappointing because you know with such a fragile or expensive piece of wood it's so dry that it's just lifted um, off there like a splinter. Uh, so that sort of, um, you know, I always get 
goosebumps when I know a really expensive bat is coming and the owner wants it knocked because it's actually more of a headache than doing a cheaper bat. These bats are generally much softer and much easier to damage. But yeah, I think it's, it's come out quite good. I'm quite happy with the little repair that I've done there. Um, obviously, I'm disappointed that that happened. And um, yeah, and that up here, you know, that's just something that's happened in the manufacturing. It does obviously, I think I showed that to you, the stamping, India and 11. So this is an, a limited. Um, but yeah, I don't understand why. And even at the back here, you can actually see, if I hold it at the right light, um, sanding marks. So the finishing, initially I thought with the, before I oiled it, it was fine. But when you put the oil on, you start to see things that weren't there. Um, now the markings there could quite possibly be the uh, polish that was on it staining because of the steaming I had to do here to try and recover that. Um, I do have pictures of, of that whole process, so I'll put them up um, during the, the back of the video. Uh, now knocking the bat, I've got to say that it is a really nice bat. Uh, it pings really, really nicely. Uh, got the new um, phone now. So this has got an improved megapixel um, widescreen camera. So hopefully this actually looks a lot better. Uh, let me know and we'll tap it up. It's really going there, isn't it? Hard there. Yeah, as I switch over to the other camera, you can see right there in that middle. Yeah, it's just basically from here to here. Huge middle. So, yeah, that's only going to get better. Um, so, yeah, just a little bit disappointing that that's happened. And I did say to the owner before we even started the knocking, look, what do you want to do? Do you want to send it back to the, own the uh, guy you bought it off and get that sorted? But he just said, I'll proceed. Um, so there you go. That is the Triple Crown Original Limited Edition from SG number 11. And thank you very much to uh, Navdeep for supplying this bat for review. I do believe he's sending another bat. So that would be three bats that he's supplied in the last few months, which I do appreciate. I also think that he sometimes sells some of the bats, so you probably see him on Facebook or some or places like that. So thank you very much to Navdeep, and uh, yeah, there you go. That's the SG Limited Edition.